the presentation as we got the topic is artificial intelligence in engineering applications as we know the world is going to an artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning and full of technology from here on so it's important for us not to only captivated like in one field but to we need to find a best fit with our field so say like if you are doing aeronautical we need to find a best fit of technology in order to showcase ourselves to the world world right if we can only excel in aeronautical we could be known only to the field of aeronautical but if we find a best fit with some other technology we will be enthral our boundary will be extended so that's what the primary bottom line of this uh, technology let's fit a, a best role of artificial intelligence and the machine learning through this topic hope i can give you a <clears throat> short insight about ai and uh, machine learning through this presentation No, just a second. Okay, the table of contents of the presentation is introduction about myself, the projects that I recently do <clears throat> in my work, the role of AI in those projects, the accolades and results of those projects, the job opportunities which can bring you uh, not only in aerospace in drone technology as well as when you put up this technology in uh, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. What job opportunities will you will that bring you to? And the conclusion statements. <clears throat> Let me introduce above myself. I am a master's graduate from Hindustan, Hindustan University. Uh, then I did uh, after that. Uh, I mean bachelor's in KCG, as you know. After my master's, I got an opportunity. I, I, I got to work in Chennai for two years. After that, I got an opportunity to work in Postco Steel, which is the world's second largest steel company in. Uh, resided in south korea i got an opportunity to work there as a project engineer during that time i got to proposal many projects in terms of uh, drone technology i mean unmanned aerial vehicle technology as well as uh, in projects related to the artificial intelligence and machine learning those time those projects gave me an insight of how ai can contribute the world in a better way real world we don't need to record a like high class team, maybe a thousands of members who can contribute to this team through, through each and every individual. If we know have some insight about AI and ML machine learning technology, we can contribute to the real world problems in a better way actually. That is what I learned from those uh, four years back from 2016. <clears throat> In the in my first job in Korea, so better guys, you even if you be open to your heart and be open to your mind that you can accept and uh, retrieve this technology. Not only if you don't need to record a high class team or a most number of people around you, even you as an individual, you can do better in for the, with this technology. So previous uh, recently, I have been uh, got a job in Smart Mind as a data scientist. So it's good to be here also. I will share about more insight on that also during the along along the course of this introduction. I mean the presentation. The project that I want to show you in case is a fully autonomous security system using drones. That uh, the project type, the Anjan you can see is that Anjan means security in Korean language. So these drones is basically uh, a surveillance security system which is fully autonomous. Then the next topic is <clears throat> fully autonomous food picker robot. As you know, there are uh, food in, food and beverage industries is the ranked number one in terms of economy, and it called, it couldn't be uh, abolished also for till the last man is living on this earth, right? The last man living on this earth needs food food to survive. So if you contribute something to the uh, industry of food and beverage, then you will be live forever. Your technology will be live forever. So yeah, according to that mindset, we propose to have an autonomous fruit picker robot which has been a part of food uh, food industry. So we uh, proposed, designed and achieved the same actually. Then there are some of the projects which, which is I'm going to show you is drowsiness reduction, object reduction, object recognition, people counter and many projects I, we, I did actually during the previous work. And I show, I'll show some of some of that because uh, I have been told from Mangat Raman sir that uh, and some of the uh, sorry students from computer science also has been listening to the presentation so it, i hope it will be helpful for them also <clears throat> let me before i go into the topic uh, projects let me show share, share a small story uh, which can show you an in, uh, insight of how we can have this technology which can uh, answers every solutions to the uh, 
questions that we have in this real world so basically the prime motive of this uh, story is that uh, the guy you see in the screen is his name is richard in from kenya as you know kenya is not a developed country is underdeveloped the african continent is, <clears throat> is full of an underdeveloped country so what you see is he is living in a uh, his home is located near by a zoological park okay zoological park they lived they raised a cows and cat cattle and goats uh, everything and get, they get uh, the uh, money through the through the cattle actually so, you know we we happen to see in, in in our villages like families used to raise cows and they can get money out of that right we used to sell milk and we used to sell many many of the thing uh, revenue has been generated through, through this cattle so likewise that family that this guy's family has been um, raising cattle in their home and uh, th since they have been resided near by zoo it has been they, they, they have been facing facing a challenge like sometimes the wild animals is going to attack their uh, uh, would have in the past attack their cattle and kill the cows and goats often so they couldn't find any solution to battle this actually because the <clears throat> those cattle are the only breadwinner for their family right those cattle are the revenue generator of their family so the uh, richard as a 12 year old he couldn't do anything his father couldn't do anything because those are the the home is resided by national zoological park which means the wild animals could be tiger and many some somewhat like stronger animals in which though not a single individual a single family couldn't stand against those wild animals right so out of many ideas and many many like long nights they richard came to a conclusion that what can we do Uh, through a simple illustration like <clears throat> you can see uh, richard and uh, one, uh, his father one one night uh, has been uh, wavering around the field of this cattle with a torch light with their hands like if they if they were roaming here and there if they roaming here and there with the torch light they found that the cattle i mean so sorry the wildlife couldn't uh, Uh, come to the field because the wildlife uh, animals thought that the light uh, on seeing the light which is roaming here and there <coughs> sorry sorry for my throat actually <coughs> just a second on uh, seeing the light uh, which is roaming here and there from their hands the wild animals couldn't recognize there is something fishy in the cattle around the cattle field so the wild animals are afraid to come over to the field so the richard feel that okay if we find the if we can set up the light so it could be easier for us to uh, work up this problem like that richard thought so richard thought and fixed a small light as a post in the in a stationary point so on seeing this wildlife uh, on seeing this the wildlife animals wild animals um, found a different path since they are in, so intelligent enough right found a different path apart from this wild i mean apart from the stationary light they came they find some other route so that and came to the cattle field and still they are continuing to uh, kill the cows and goats raised by richard so then richard couldn't find any solution for this since then richard found if the light has been put into stationary the wild animals will keep on come we keep on finding some other ways multiple ways to come to cattle field we need to find this light in a better way but it needs to be accom uh, large to say cost effective that he could afford actually so what do you think with a small mind uh, with a 12 year old mind he just framed a small diagram like here so you can see the lights are moving right yes okay. adam it is perfect Sure, sure. Okay, small diagram. You can see a twelve-year-old little diagram. I am showing this. Is, this is the exact diagram what he made. Like he made some just circuit diagrams for uh, uh, to connect a serial bulb. You know, in our marriage halls in Chennai, they used to on and off uh, lights, serial lights uh, outside of the building, right? If we, one light is turned on and another light in the uh, next will turned off, the next will be turned on. The series will go like this. So you just form a small idea like this and made how can can contribute. You use a small car battery of his phone. Then the car battery you will trigger the light. He surrounded the sorry serial lights around the fence of the cattle field. Then the lights will keep on and off for about fifty. Uh, I mean, for three hundred meters, let's say. This the he surrounded the serial lights with the cattle field of three hundred meters. The lights will keep on and off, on and off, on and off forever and ever. Then wildlife will thought that the wild animals uh, thought that there is uh, something which is which is far more powerful than them. So we couldn't go and uh, have our, have our food anymore like that. He found a solution 
best solution and it proved actually so the serial light will be on and off on and off on and off they do they don't need to be like wake up forever and ever for the whole night so it, it is for them he found a solution what i mean is the solutions need not to be a fancy high fancy fancy enough right because we as a grown up students in india i know that we need to we always want to nurture into big uh, big four company like amazon facebook uh, uh, google like that yes it's good to be there but solution is not about like seeking and thinking in innovative way like more innovative way innovative is something like finding a solution in a simple way a term innovative is like not only like think you need to think about many uh, if i think it's like einstein or someone else solutions need to be sometimes it should be very simple that's so that it can contribute your life and to the solution i mean problems of the real to this real world also so this is just an example before we go get into the projects uh, since there are many uh computer science project students also let's not uh, let me took uh, the project which is based from object detection and uh, object drowsiness also so that it could be uh, given much more insight before we get into this technical more technical projects okay let me start from this thing ah uh, okay now uh, these are the projects using ai open cv open computer vision guys please as, as i am doing presentation please note down the like uh, the terms that if you couldn't have heard about before if you heard about before and much familiar that's very much fine but if you didn't know about the, these topics that uh, these terms that you have been viewing please make note of it and i have a simple research of about 30 minutes one hour per day it can give in a wide wide, wide range opportunities of job and a wide range of opportunity of solutions to to be in this world okay let me share these are the projects some of the projects that i did using open computer vision computer vision as the word uh, name itself is self explanatory right computer vision means providing a machine uh, providing eyes to the providing vision to the machine through computer okay can you get uh, can you get my point like if you are building a machine as a human we have eyes to see this world right if we come building a machine We, we if you want to build if you want to build that machine to move by its own way to move autonomously to view this world we need to provide that vision right we need to provide them eyes to the machine so in order to build that in order to give that eyes we need to have a, there is a technology called open computer vision in in ai field we need to we need to attribute that field to give vision to the to other machines that we are building up so some of the projects uh, very minimal projects very le- like minor projects which can, but contribute in a good way drowsiness detection while driving object detection face recognition object tracking people and code if you came didn't know about this topic please note of it please note of the terms as i said before the development environmentals that were used this topic is tensor flow open cv dlib sci pi python library and the python library is a program language as many of you may know and the architecture that i used guys don't worry if you didn't know anything about uh, this thing i uh, let me let me show let me try my best to prove you what at least get a small idea about these topics along the course of the presentation okay let me go with the project first as i showed before drowsiness detection while driving guys as you know drowsiness means become the eyes become tired right this is like uh, this is for the drivers truck drivers not only truck drivers of many drivers all around the world but basically it, it meant for truck drivers actually guys as we know truck drivers are used to drive the trucks for long hours right during the night during the day they need to travel and drive for almost continuous 12 week 12, sorry 2 weeks 20 days 25 days we need to travel for example if you need to go if a truck driver need to go from chennai to or jaipur or chennai to uttarakhand you need to travel at least 10 10 days right you need to tra- travel at least 10 days day and night without any rest you need to travel here and there and so here and there you can maybe you can have a small nap but that will make them make their body so tired right what this drought stress reduction gives you know and also because of the tiredness uh it, they may tend to sleep during driving and they may app- that will results in a huge accident that may result their life uh, cost of their life also do by that their life i mean the whole family will be suffered forever and ever this was this is personally i have been affected by my uh, because my one of my friend one of my friend as friend has been who has been a truck driver in india he has been uh, after we enjoyed uh, the whole uh, new uh, new year uh, night uh, maybe 
I think I would say 2013 or 2014. I'm not so sure. 2013 New Year after we celebrated the whole night. He was he was with us since he was with us. He spent the whole night without even sleeping. Then the whole, uh, next day he he went to went on to go truck driving. During the uh, course of his driving, he went asleep. And he actually eventually died. That was so sad, sad full thing for us. If we have this technology before, right before then, we would have my friend till now. So this, so you can imagine how this kind of technology will save many lives, not only in financial manner, but in, in into a social life also. So this is like, basically I will tell you guys the idea of this. We can see the eyes of the, uh, you can see an eyes which is open, right? P1, 2, P2, P3, P4, P5, and P6, right? If it is open, this is basically the project is built upon Euclidean distance. Don't worry about if you didn't know about uh, Euclidean distance, you can just uh, see the definitions and every pro functional program when you write programs also. You don't need to like. Uh, know about every a to z of the technology a to z of the functions that you are using of you don't you just need to have a logical mind when you build this these technologies be keep in that mind i mean please keep in this in mind alone you know if you don't about know about this uh, like functional part of definition the functional part of uh, a to z things don't worry about anything just go on with the flow just keep in mind you need to have a logical mind with you like if i want to build this how you can how we can do if you, if you want to, uh, like for example, if you want to drink a cup of water, what you need to do, you need to find a cup first. You need to find a cup which is filled with water first. Then the water needs to be uh, purified or something that, that is upon your purifier, I mean, upon your switch case. Then you can, you need to have an arm or hand to hold that cup. Then the next step is you need to bring that cup nearby your mouth, right? Then the mouth, you need to open your mouth to have uh, access to this water. Then you need to breathe that water and have drink that water. So this is the, this, maybe this is kind to be small logical thing. This kind of logical mind you need to have for every technology, for every mission you are going to build. Okay. This is the logical mind you need to have basic logical mind. This is simple logical mind as, as I can say, you can find if you have this kind of, this kind of logical mind, I hope everyone has that, right? The, if you have the, logical mind you you are good to go for any technology that you are dreamt of actually so this is the eye you can see the eyes as you see the waveform here waveform here it is still open right it is it is kind of uh, linear here like like regular here you can see the drop here drop in waveform what does it mean this drop in waveform resembles like high is closed the right side of the diagram shows that there is there is no p1 p2 p4 p5 6 right you can see the cursor which is still like it is closed see when your eyes is open the waveform is like this towards the left left side of your waveform when your eyes are closed like blinking maybe your eyes your the waveform is drop then it become like like the waveform is talk continues keep continuous in the top which means you you open your eyes blinked once then open blinking means just take a fraction of microsecond right the your eye blink of eyes just take a microsecond so a sudden drop in the waveform then the wave keep on to continue what if say the waveform is keep on like the eyes are keep on close like this you can see the difference here see eyes are open here you can see the waveform is moving from here to here when your eyes are open when you are blink like for example the waveform becomes i mean suddenly drop and if it is keep on uh, closed okay the waveform is like in the in the bottom only forever what if you keep on your close uh, i mean if you keep your eyes shut down for four or five seconds are you blinking the eyes no that's not really you are sleeping right actually if you are keep your shut down your eyes for five six seconds which means that you are asleep so this waveform will keep on traveling four five those four five seconds indicates that you are sleeping then the results in will create an alarm alarm like structure so it is uh, alarm like structure like this uh, then if it is alarm the driver will become woke up like this sir may let me check with if, if, if even if the audio audio is visible so i mean can you hear the audio yes yes which audio from your yes yes okay can you hear the horn sound now yes 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 sir 
let me show the practical example of this guys let me exam i mean test with myself guys before i am sharing these things these are sources which are richly available on online you can search for these all available sources what you can to do is we need you need to build up these technologies along with the real case scenarios for example let me show you let me tell those tell those things after showing this uh, video see i am going to play video you can see it is recognizing my eyes okay it is calculating my eyes right now you can see the green circle around here which I'm, where i am opening my eyes i am going to share see i am sharing here what it comes like again you open it it stop can you read, can you recognize that guys uh, let me show it again i am opening here when i close for 2 seconds see i am closing here so guys these technologies have already have been deployed through self driving autonomous cars because that will recognize not only self driving but also in many trucks through hyundai because hyundai in south korea has been have many many truck drivers who has been traveling to around the country around the world through the trucks okay so that they are deploying these kind of small technologies but the revenue generated through this technology has been in billion us dollars you can never imagine on those things so these kind of small technologies guys if we, if a driver felt asleep for 2 3 seconds the small alarm system will autonomously uh, shout alarm turned on then the driver will give a woke up you can save many lives and you can the best part is we can earn revenue through this technology okay then you can see object tracking you may heard about this thing there is a, there are many other small projects like this you can have a view on this you can see these are the object topics which are used for self driving or self driving autonomous cars many of you know how about self driving autonomous cars Delta. taking a boom through tesla and hyundai many companies are coming through object here right tracking. you can see the cars in front of you of they are recognizing like the cars tracking not the only this recognizing the cars it can know. recognize the distance of it also okay it can recognize the distance also it can recognize after after it recognize the distance what it can do it shouldn't do it shouldn't go for those things right it, it can go and drive autonomously so this kind of small projects we can first insert uh, first concentrate guys when you first jump into this and build build by your own spend time on your own on building these kind of small projects but has a very big impact on social life just try go on trying to building like this okay let's go on to the topics which are which are maybe i did personally along with those projects my latest top uh, project i did is guys this is the one like fully autonomous food picker robot as i say when you think about food industry your technology is contributing to the industry that's a huge boom not only to your uh, company as well as Okay, sorry, sorry. So I just happened to see your message. Just second. Okay. Uh, okay. This uh, this fully autonomous uh, fruit picker robot is. Think about the uh, cart vehicle. Let me tell you this vehicle. You may know well aware about the civilly autonomous. Uh, like a civilly uh, machine which is built by hindustan university right for this covid uh, conditions since uh, that is a machine which is traveling sir is it is it autonomous uh, yes sir so i think you can you can uh, unmute your phone mic alone yes 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 adam i think it is autonomous okay is it uh, okay if it is fully autonomous that's very much fine the same this cart is basically like this okay this cart will move like this in a way like like the these these are the videos guys that i took in the initial stages of the projects the commercial part of the projects i couldn't show as you right now because it is internationally patented see you can see let me show the running of the cart the specific desired point at a desired Let me show you. It is running and controlled by a separate motor. You can run even faster. 
see. If it is detected, I mean the process will repeat. If it is detected, it will stop and hold and shoot. Then we'll continue to run. Hold and shoot and collect. Guys, let me show. You, let me have a show. You, give you the glimpse of the project. Then you can view the video. That would be more fine. I think so. Okay. Now this is basically the uh, cart. The cart means vehicle. Think about. I mean, uh, visualize that thing in your mind. Okay. This fruit machine will go on to this greenhouse gas like this. Greenhouse field. There are many smart farming field which is going to come in India also. But there are in developed countries like US, Japan, Korea, and all. There are many. The farming is almost now uh, smart farming, and there are many greenhouses are building in, in every part of the these countries. Okay, you can see the greenhouse here. In between, the, there will be a path of uh, uh, gap you can find. Right, doing that path that is the way for the farmers to pluck the fruits. To pick the fruits, okay. If they're growing apples, they're going to pick that fruit by traveling to through that part, and they will water it and feed it and every those those kind of things. They will have a small gap in this, in between this uh, farming field, so that they can access to the fruits and many things what they are farming. Okay. What I, what we planned is to have a we build a machine to run in this specific path as humans. Visualizing and analyzing the images. I mean, analyzing by analyzing the field of particular distance, say like 15 to 20 centimeter, and capture the images by by a camera, analyzing, processing the image, the captured image. If you find any ripe fruit, ripe and unripe, ripe and unripe, as you may know, pahir the param. Okay, uh, like that fruit, if you can disintegrate or classify like whether it is ripe fruit or unripe fruit, we need to leave off the unripe fruit. We need to select only the ripe fruit. After we capture and segregating the ripe fruit alone, we need to extract the coordinates of the stem of the ripe fruit. Guys, if you if you are image processing the images of uh, apple in the field, okay, in the smart farming. After you processing like classified ripe fruit and unripe fruit, what you need to do? Yes, I got a, within the span of 20 centimeter. I got like you can see here maybe. I yeah, I got like uh, many the in within the 20, 20 centimeter gap. I found fruits like ripe fruit as well as unripe fruit. Okay, but after I found those things, I need to leave that unripe fruit. Then I need to focus on only the ripe fruit. You can see here. After finding and identifying the ripe fruit, what you need to do to pick out? You need to find the stem of the ripe fruit, right? Find the stem of the ripe fruit because I am using a laser technology to shoot. Okay, I am not using arm to pick it out. I am using a laser technology which can pass the laser beam into the extra specific coordinates. After it's passed to the to the, to the stem of it. We can easily and safely collect it to the baskets which are providing in the machine with the machine. That machines will be collected and uh, put onto the baskets. Okay, so that this is the process of the project. So what after we uh, finding the ripe fruit here, we need to find the stem of this that particular ripe fruit. Okay, so after uh, in order to find the stem, we need to extract the coordinates of the x y z coordinates of the ripe fruit, guys. Don't bother about uh, the terms like X, Y, Z. Oh, that's too difficult. That's not a lot difficult. Trust me, that is very, very uh, easy. If you can spend some like a valuable amount of time with your motivation that you can need to survive and you can need to build up this, it is easily possible to extract those coordinates. This may seem to be like a difficult task, but it is not. It is very, very easy actually. Because I don't have any programming language in my own before. As you know, I am from aeronautical background. Even my, as a, I am from aeronautical background, I can do these things now. Then, I mean, that too, in like 10 years back, you can do much more powerful than what you can do with the accessible of these thing points. Okay. So, this is the basic point. Like, the, you, you are autonomous. I built a model, artificial intelligence model, which can classify like, like ripe strawberry fruit and ripe strawberry fruit. Guys, this is, this is the one thing. You are not only classifying based upon color only. Based upon color, if you can classify, that is very much easy. But on real world, if you can apply into the real world, like real-time greenhouse thing, 
things are very very challenging if you are class classifying just based on color you couldn't survive actually because the pictures that you are seeing and getting and training your model through online is very easy that will be very clarity but on real world the lightings will be different so if you trained your artificial intelligence model based upon color then you will feel suffering on real time and real real field experience so you need to consider various uh, various textures and various factors when you train this artificial intelligence model let me tell you how to train this artificial intelligence model guys training your artificial intelligence model is, is like just training your babies to go over there right okay if you are if you are raising a baby if you if you want your baby to have, eat in a good way what the parents used to do let them they will first show you how to do that right they will pick some food with their hands and uh, keep it in the mouth the baby they, they will tell the baby to see that those things they will show you the baby how usually they, when someone needs to eat that how usually they need to do and what they need to do like that we we need to build a model the same you need to apply to the artificial intelligence models also you need a model like if you if your model wants to go and process the image take the picture of that at, at this particular time you need to tell the building command from the programming language like you just, there are guys there are many built in pro functions are built upon these programming languages so you don't don't think that i need to do uh, i need to write thousands of lines of codes i never did actually these programs has only maybe less than 50 and 60 lines of codes you can just search pick and write pick this like right number of uh, lines right number of uh, codes that you can available which because there are many built in functions which are easily available if if you if you want to calculate like mathematical functions matplotlib and uh, visualization functions like matplotlib many functions are available in programming languages built in functions means whatever you want to do those kind of packages will be fully adapted in that package you want to call it say for example i, I told you right before if you want to drink up the water there will be like drink up water in programming language if you don't need to like specify in, into your codes like uh, i need to uh, move my hands i need to drink my i mean raise my hands i need to pick the cup i need to uh, get the cup nearby to my mouth that th those kind of things you don't need to you guys they there are already pre pre installed inbuilt functions over there like saying like for maybe drink water there will be like drink, drink water drink water function you need to call upon those function appropriate function to deploy to run into your model i think this can give you an idea of you i can adapt the programming language okay like this this kind of built in functions that are many available in programming languages you can go and search as you can find some time okay okay let me let's back to the project let's go back to the project okay uh, so this is the structure guys okay if my if you guys as you see in the course if my machine is traveling here and finding apples and strawberries anything over here finding the extra input raw data the algorithm will process it whether it is ripe or unripe then it will found yeah is it apple and it is ripe like that okay once it is ripe what my machine will do to do na this machine this machine we have, you can see a rectangular thing right this is the laser, that is actually laser machine the processing of the model which is uh, which are done in very less expensive computer model 30 dollars 40 dollars can you imagine that you may heard about raspberry pi arduino nvidia jetson those kind of uh, uh, basic microcomputers can do fancy things in your life guys trust me uh, this machine learning, machine learning model i trained in a fancy computer but i deployed the same artificial intelligence model deployed means i transfer the uh, same model into a small 35 dollar computer okay i am placing right here in this picture that model guys when it is traveled through the field th that it will well, the first need, thing you need to do is let me show with the flow chart okay identify and locate the strawberry bed for example if we re deploying this machine into a strawberry not farming we need to find whether the strawberries are located where the strawberries are located okay once you get to the far in between the field we need to set the focal distance uh, i mean roi i mean region of interest between 2 to 22 to 30 cm which means first i want to process first i am telling the machine first you need to concentrate only 22 to 30 cm in front of you okay 
Then after processing that, uh, fixing that region of interest, it needs to blowing up it because sometimes the uh, strawberries are usually in the smart farming uh, greenhouse thing. It can be occluded by or covered by leaves, right? We have a small fan, small kind of fan which blow the leaves, okay? To have a clear view of the strawberries, okay? After blowing the leaves, we can access the clear view of strawberries so that we can uh, detect the strawberry by the vision, okay? If we detect the strawberry, yes, then we need to find the ripened fruit alone, okay? If it is still yes, then if, the, if there is a strawberry like ripened fruit, then we need to lock it by a frame. Lock it by a frame means like this like this like we are locking it in by, by, by a frame okay the next step is find this after locking the uh, ripened fruit the find the stem of it as i showed shared before we need to find the stem of the log uh, like a, a ripened fruit so that we can shoot it by the laser machine okay after lock it by a frame what we need to do we need to do we need to extract the coordinates of the stem like here if you find the stem over here Okay, we need to find the XYZ coordinates to the pass the XY coordinates, XYZ coordinates and pass the, those coordinates to the laser machine so that it, the laser machine can shoot in that particular path. Okay, so you can see pass laser beam to the cut, move to the, the, then after the laser machine has been passed to the particular stem, the fruits will be safely collected in a basket. Then move to the next focal distance. Next focal distance means the next 30 centimeters. The machine will do this autonomously, guys. The process will the repeat the process from step one to step eight. So guys, I told you now the logical mindset you need to have. This is this is the simple logical mind when you are about to build this project. But as a, a, when you face this in real time, this you will face a lot of challenges. Challenges that you can moderately change as time goes by when you build upon this project. Okay, so. Let me show you if now I can show you the running of the strawberry cart and the machine laser machine, guys. So what is what is it basically? I need to do first. I need to build a model, which is based upon artificial intelligence that needs to run in this particular field. And after in, in this particular particular field, it needs to find the strawberry. Then strawberry needs to extract the coordinates. Then the exact coordinates of the stem. The stem the coordinates needs to pass to the laser machine. The laser machine also controlled by a small micro under the microcomputer, guys. Then the microcomputer, which is directing the laser machine, told, "Hey, go on to the X Y Z into the X Y Z. Just pass on to the. It's not like think about the heroes, heroes in cinemas. Like like if if the villains and the other guys are shooting like uh, even those hundreds of bullets, it won't affect heroes, right?" But if the hero should just one bullet, it will bang on to the head, right? We need to just tell, telling the laser machine like that. You, do, you shouldn't need to shoot up our various multiple uh, places because that will damage the greenhouse. You need to show, you need to shoot only upon X, Y, Z, what is directed by my artificial built model, okay? So that we can see the whole structure. Now if we can show maybe the, uh, okay. After before showing the video, let me show this. You can see the precision of the machine, uh, precision of my artificial intelligence model, guys. You can see the accuracy. You are means unripe, okay? And my con my machine is confidence of uh, 95 percentage, 99 percentage, non 99 percentage. These are the machine. These are the things the artificial intelligence model saying by itself. I am not doing anything. I am just deploying some models and bringing in some models into it. All these things are done by is uh, by it autonomously, okay? You can see. If I can base upon the just color, the machine needs to identify this as a ripe one, right? This is not a ripe fruit, actually. You can see there are some white pore. This is actually in real time, this is not a ripe fruit. This is not ready to pick. This is not eligible to pick, actually. So my, you can see my machine is still enough, good enough to classify. Yes, though it is red and some structures are, as, seems like a, a ripened fruit, ripened strawberry, but this is not ripened. As it says, it is it is correct actually. In real time also, this is not unripe fruit. So I just just an insight of how the artificial intelligence models predicting is accurate accurate enough. You can see just ripe fruit and unripe fruit here and classifying in a good way. Okay. After classifying this, getting the coordinates of these things, then you can see the calculations of this thing. You can see guys, these are the stem part of ripened fruit. Okay. After getting the ripened fruit. What the machine needs to do, calculating the stem. This is the where your logical mind come, comes into play. 
how can we go into picking up on some dried i mean what what should i say the stem of the ripened fruit think about those way i can tell you in the later session in the question session maybe think about the, those thing like yes i can find um, the i mean while you write coding uh, maybe not only code guys when i when you using the word coding don't think about oh that is that is not for you don't ever think of that coding is not a coding that you are thinking about uh, writing and uh, for 10 weeks writing for one month writing for um, one year two year and thousands of like quotes no i am i'm not mentioning about that i am like i am usually when i mention code just think about code which is uh which is from a unfamiliar programming person okay i can i am the example for that i am not familiar in coding i didn't know any coding i i still didn't learn any coding by any classes and co courses i just learning through online sources as time progress okay so when i mention coding don't worry and don't think that i am this is not for you just receive that the word i can tell you prove you that you you can also do that okay this codings will do after the picking the machine how can you go to the stem top part of the specific uh, specific fruit okay so after this is the these are the pictures find in the stem you can see a small pink color into it right that is the stem point that is the exact coordinates coordinates that the laser machine needs to know then the laser machine will pass pass the laser beam into the machine into the particular point the stem will be cut it off laser beam laser beam can cut anything as you know okay laser beam will pass into the stem part this particular part then this machine will be safely guided okay let me go on very fast as, as there is time constraint guys basically as as you know the laser part is one one part in this project and the classifying part classifying part through artificial intelligence another part first part is artificial intelligence you to classify the ripe fruit the second part is passing the coordinates to the laser laser machine okay let me show each by it uh, before that guys the the machine running of the autonomous machine also is autonomous okay you can see a small part this is a, this are the starting days guys a finalized version i couldn't show you let me show the running of the cart like this this cart means vehicle okay it's just a whole operation carrying the laser machine robot after direction it's keep on running once you get to the screen we can control the velocity we can, we can the movement of the distance at whatever specific desired point at a desired recommendable speed velocity control and everything we can do it since it is running and control by stepper motor You can run even faster. See, if it is detected, I mean the process will repeat. If it is detected, it will stop and hold and shoot. Then we will continue to run. This is basically hold and shoot running and of the cart. The second right? repeat. This is basically running of the cart. So, if uh, I can show you the laser machine shooting along with this. uh maybe i uh, doing the post presentation because that that video is has a lot, lot of memory i couldn't import into this presentation maybe after that uh, end of the presentation i can show you how this i mean okay uh this is the this is the laser part okay let me run this i mean article oh. the model part i am showing the strawberry paper in front of the camera like for example in the beginning I'm just showing the images not on the real screen these are the paper as it's coded now the code has passed the frames are moving and it will shoot for 5 5 seconds next coordinate received next it move into next coordinate it will go then will shoot for 5 seconds they were there it it will shoot 5 seconds so as soon as the coordinate is repeating repeating you can see right the paper i'm showing viewing as you you can i mean you are seeing the rear part of the paper so just a second you are seeing the rear part of the paper but what the what the machine see let me run the this camera in the machine seeing is it is seeing the front part cool i am showing the strawberry paper in front strawberry of the camera images. and we can see the next coin where you can see the images of the strawberry it will so as soon as the coordinate is repeating
Yeah, you can see I have a small view actually up to that. That is the, the that is the process of the artificial intelligence model, which is processing ripe or unripe, then the coordinates. Okay, then it passed through the after extracting the coordinates, it is passing through the laser machine. The laser machine starts to moving. Okay, starts to moving like this. repeating. It will pass the laser beam. It will go on for five seconds. Passing any particular recommended time to reach out the next coordinates. Shoot for next, another. Next coordinates means if if let's say if within the 20 20 centimeter guys, if you find find some maybe like uh, many fruits, many ripened fruits, like four or five ripened fruits, what you can do? It is process continuously, right? The the process needs to be autonomous. So if you find after extracting the first coordinates, should pass the beam for five seconds. Okay. Next coordinates receiving. Pass, pass the beam for five seconds. Next coordinates receiving. Pass the frame for five seconds within the 20, 20 centimeter. Then the cart, need, the vehicle need to move to next point by its own. All these things are fully autonomous, guys. Let me show you in the post presentation um, because I couldn't import that big video right now. Okay. So this is, these are the basically two parts. One part building artificial intelligence model, which is doing the things, classifying the thing, extracting the coordinates. Coordinates. The next part is you can see. This is the image, right? This is the car. This is the uh, maybe images as is uh, showed before. This is the laser beam, which can move like in all direction, three dimensional way. From here, the artificial intelligence model passing through the external coordinates. It will go and extrude the particular point of strawberries on the real field. Then the machine will move. This is all. This all is done in an autonomous way, guys. Let me show you. Okay. So these part two points: artificial intelligence model in one part, then the laser part is another part. The cart moving is third part. Okay. These three things, when when it is integration, integrated is the vital thing and challenging thing in real time machine building. Okay. Those integration also need to be done by your own. Don't worry. That is a very easy. Was easy, easily possible when you spend some time, valuable time to achieve these things. Okay, guys, then with development environmental that I used to build this project is PyCharm. Is PyCharm is nothing but it's a script. script. It's a development environmental. It's like uh, when you write the program of Python, you need to have a board like whiteboard, right? Think about whiteboard. I'm telling this for you don't know what those who don't know any of the programming languages. So, computer guys, please bear with them. Please bear with me when I'm saying this basic knowledge because I, I think you guys are know, know this already. Development environmental, I, I used to build this project is PyCharm. Anagonda is another thing which is used to have an environmental, we used to have running Python coding languages. Jupyter Notebook. Notebook is just you need to have when you visualize something, when you write something like 3 plus 4, it will answer you immediately like that. So just think about whiteboard. These are the things. Arduino and Raspberry Pi is a microcomputer, many of you may know where the the best part of the this project is this thing guys i am deploying the artificial intelligence model in just 30 dollar 30 usd uh, usd computer okay why i am uh, why i am appro approaching this thing because the farmers usually couldn't hire i mean couldn't afford highly fancy machine right we are we are basically we are supplying this machine to the farmers okay if we can if we need to have a uh, processing um, uh, high uh, like, like super computers to do this process no farmers couldn't afford that maybe farmers from developed countries afford this but if farmers from the indian uh, india and other countries couldn't afford the highly fancy machines right so we plan to train the model in a fancy computer not fancy computer and get, deploy the model then after training the model we just transferring the graph of the model into that uh, small like uh, in a cost effective computer like this 30 usd dollars raspberry pi and arduino then the result will do the same but not in a quality manner but in a steady way i mean in a steady process no because we are not worrying about the uh, speed here okay Sma farmers can sp uh, spend some time they don't need to because it, the machine can run 24 hours they don't need to run I mean, pick the fruits very fastly still it is very much uh, par com, com, competitive when compared to real human picking okay so we we're just transferring these kind of things into a small computers raspberry pi is processing these things the intel is i used used i am putting in this because i am training i used to use a supercomputer i mean fancy computer when i used the first basic model Okay, these are the environmental development models for I, that I used to run this project. These are the AI tools, uh, friends, 
tensor flow please note note down it if you not aware about that tensor flow which are used to classifying images from ripe fruit or unripe fruit okay and the architecture that they used uh, in this ai model is faster rcnm guys there are many all types of algorithms on there don't worry if you don't know about thing again and again i'm saying means because you don't need to worry about the don't ever think that this this is not for you just note down these topics do the new these terms just have a research on that okay faster rcnn there are many types of algorithms out there okay mobile ssd network uh, the algorithms like random forest all those things supervised learning unsupervised learning these things are uh, uh, types of algorithms which are richly available in ai platform just came to know just try to know about these things open cv means open computer vision i i use this open cv technology into this also so that it can have a view okay just thing you can see the layer is like that Art, the architecture will be like this okay cn features ro image of interest classification of layers then the bounding box bounding box means you just find uh, i mean uh, like uh, putting a boundary to the identification part if you find uh, like you can see right here right you can see if you are ripen fruit we are just putting a boundary we need to process that thing alone okay we need to process that thing you can see the like guys you center images show you the coordinates of the xyz you can see if you can come closer and see code x y x are decimal 0 into 3d which is in the hexadecimal format after those, you can see those things the section of coordinates you can see the machine also guys this is the small micro computer you can just see small micro computer just wonderful things in our life guys trust me these are the 40 dollars 40 us dollar raspberry pi 4 as a 4 gb ram process it has a processing power enough to accept this model i'm not training this model into it i this model this computer actually accept the model that i run in a normal computer okay okay guys this is what about this project uh, like finding uh, adam yes, sorry to yeah. we have some uh, five to six questions i think uh, in a similar project if we, okay. before okay. we move on to anjan uh, okay sure we can take this questions okay. sure sure the Please. question by mr mohan kumar was uh, what is the processing speed of this food picker drone or the robot food picker robot the processing speed you mean in real time or what uh, i think he means the real time what is the speed of food picking guys uh, yes yeah, uh, this the question answer to this question is i am processing using the raspberry pi which has just a 4 gb memory of ram speed okay i am deploying this real world and that that is doing fine i am not using the multiple i mean fancy computer to processing this i am using the ra uh, raspberry pi which is just a, uh, which just as a 4 gb ram I'm, and that is the machine which is processing the real images on onto the field okay there was other question yeah. will the la laser radiation affect the plant what is the frequency of radiation if i am yeah. correct there was other question regarding the laser uh, what is the wavelength so they they want to know what is the frequency and wavelength of the uh, okay. the frequency and wavelength yes you are right the the frequency and wavelength instead when when we deployed into real model it just apply affected the real field because many farmers you and they are worrying about uh, like uh, how to how could we can accept this because this may uh, this may affect our farming but what we need to do is we need to confirm uh, convince them anyway what we need to do is there is a layer if you how many of you if you can visit the like Uh, real greenhouse gases you can see there will be uh, what should i say there will be a like a slab like structure strab like structure thereby we can have a possibility of hiding anything okay what we just deployed into this model is uh, we frame a small aluminum foil kind of thing aluminum which is which is not burnable by uh, by like a laser beam or laser light this aluminum foil will hide the uh, green plants green plants if it is misfired okay if it is if it is misfired it won't uh, like uh, it will fall the laser beam will fall one day onto the laser uh, aluminum foil which is like uh, we are uh, guard guarding to the plants and the fire the plant plants will not be burned into since the wavelength also we are just using like 220 nanometer and um, so it is not powerful enough 
like uh, which can burn the plant just in one shot but we are have the protection layer because we in, in order to make it commercial way we are making a safety measure of covering the background of the structure with an aluminum foil which is not burned by the uh, uh, burned by the laser laser beam and we, after covering the layer with the small slab only we are making this machine to use into the real field guys the covering of laser mission i mean covering of aluminum foil is also is not a uh, like a expensive thing just covering a brown sheet as you know so after deploying those ideas only the farmers are accepted to test this machine and deploying this machine into the real field so it's basically the answer the same we have some safety measures before applying this and uh, the wavelength also we are just uh, uh, adjusted according to the real uh real case scenario because the wavelength needs to be uh, can be adjusted at any time but what we the recommended uh, wavelength is this just uh, 220 nm as of right now but uh, many uh, real time green houses are there which can be tentative to change our uh, uh, the wavelength power actually so next question sir yes uh, the other question was uh, i think he means the advantages after finding a repellent of food why an arm should not be used to pluck it i think he is asking what is the advantages of uh, the yeah okay that is the thing here if we find the arm there are many arms which are already available in the market okay there are many arms which are uh, already available in the market not only maybe not a lot of uh, arms but there are many technologies which has been purely done doing by arm like uh, moving to the process just go send the arm to pick over it but why what we want to do is which is not never before on to the whole world okay so that is why this project was internationally patented but still if if we can do the laser machine which is not a heavily uh, what should i say uh, heavily cost uh, costed to our uh, machine so why can't we deploy those things since we came to know that laser machines can be controlled in a much way this is the guys as you shooting the questions as an indian i was so much worry about when i when was when i was think about laser machine oh that's fire it is never be possible in testing this in a in a farming field but as when i came to know as i doing research on the, along the course of this project i came to know that we can we can control the laser beam like anything okay after presuming those things koreans are much more uh, preferential in uh, providing the safety safety factors okay so after satisfying those safety factors we came to know and we came to deploy this idea like okay let's try this idea which is never tried before and uh, for using this laser technology instead of arm yes you are right this needs to be uh, to be to be to make it more precise and to make it more commercialized in a wonderful way this technology needs to adapt with arms the arm technology needs to adapt laser machine as well as the laser machine needs to adapt arm also so we are plan the company that i uh, i have worked with they are planning to integrate with arm also in the future field because when when it when it is commercialized to expand it in a uh, international format Uh, there was other uh, two questions in fact uh, regarding the raspberry one one was by mr sanjeevi mm -hmm. uh, and another by jaralin kribavat mm -hmm. uh, the processor speed of raspberry pi image speed is low mm -hmm. uh, it takes take some time to proceed uh, whether it would be efficient one that was question by sanjeevi and uh, by jaralin was any specific reason to use raspberry pi guys actually as you know the processing speed is very less right 700 gigahertz just just one maybe starting from maybe the max, at the maximum we can get like maybe 1.2 1.3 at the maximum 1.4 gigahertz but yes this is not the processing speed is sufficient enough for us but this i am showing this in, at the time of uh, in the testing period prototype even before prototype building that is uh, all i can show you right now but along the process of uh, period we can use uh, nvidia jetson which is again a good uh, processing speed comparatively to raspberry pi but the thing is guys we don't need to have a time constraint we don't have any time limit over here since we are deploying into the greenhouse we can have 24 hours time to to we can have just 24 hours time to just finish out of one greenhouse because as a human we couldn't stand and fit 24 hours but machines can do we don't have a processing speed uh, like uh, 
we, do, we don't have the limitation of uh, taking much time in this, in picking the fruits. So, so that answers your question. But the processing period is still, still haunt you when the, when it integrated actually. For example, the laser machine, laser machine beam can be passed fast. The, the processing speed of Raspberry Pi needs to processing the next image very fast, right? So when integrating those things, you will face a lot of challenges because the processing speed of Raspberry Pi and the processing speed of laser beam needs to be uniform. So that is where the challenges lies. So when you need to do, you need to solve these things. That is why I told you real time challenges, you need to face those things. But once you start to implement guys, start to implement it, you can face these challenges and across came across these challenges easily. Okay, thank this you, Adam. Specific example, you. specific uh, reason for to picking Raspberry Pi. The answer is, this is cost effective, which can affordable by the farmer. This is the simple example. But if you can uh, uh, bring it to the um, like a more uh, like a rich level, you can use more multi. I mean, more processing speed uh, computers. That's that's upon your real case scenario. That's upon your switch case actually. Thank you, Adam. I yeah. think uh, we have a couple of other questions. Yeah. Uh, we'll finish this and we'll quickly move on to the Anjan project. Yeah. Um, it was by Mr. Santosh Kumar of uh, ECE, if I'm correct. Uh, how TensorFlow differs from OpenCV? Which online site is best to learn things? You mean for TensorFlow? Or, uh... This question was how TensorFlow differs from OpenCV? Okay. Uh, which online site is best to learn things? The main, usually guys, TensorFlow is a framework, okay? As an easy guy, or maybe computer science guys know this before. TensorFlow is a framework, but OpenCV is not a framework. OpenCV is a library. As, as I told you, now, library is something which can have all the modules in it, okay? Uh, say like, I, I, when I told you like, pick, uh, what do you need to do to drink the water, cup of water? What you need to do is, we need to have a specific module function, which is in the library. Okay. There will be some, uh, if you want to, if you build like a build, uh, like drink water function, that will be, that functions will be modules will be stored in the library called OpenCV. Okay. That library as it's like, guys, just think about library. Library has a store, I mean, racks of books stored into it, right? The books is what here? The built-in functions like mathematics if you want to have access to mathematical functions that is for mathematics you need to call mathematical functions of python mathematical function of programming language if it is for uh, like uh, like i showed you any independent uh, model or functions then you need to call that so that is the difference tensorflow is a, tensorflow is a framework but opencv is a library okay and what is the name? i mean uh, yes. Yes, Adam, I think uh, we can finish the presentation and we'll take the questions uh, later. Also, I mean, you asked the later part of the question is something like, oh, which platform? Hi, uh, yes. Uh, which, which, uh, which is best to learn things? Guys, it's upon up to you uh, because I, I, I'm not here to selling my things. Uh, what I learned is I, I researched many stuff and, and I, what I found is I can be familiar in some topics with this platform, okay? There is not like a suggestion of, if I can suggest something that won't be good enough, that won't be like informative, that won't be interactive to you. So each and as the, the platforms you need to pick is, it needs to be interactive to you and interesting to you, okay? Because apart, we are, as, as an EC student, you would be like uh, not an interested in programming language basically. So because you may tend to lose in the beginning, you may tend to lose in the middle of. So what do you need to do is, you need to find a platform which is which you can find interactive because I am not following just one platform to build this uh, whole project. I find many platforms, many interactive things where I, where I can pick those things. Okay, the, uh, okay, this is this this seems to be interactive. This seems to be interactive. I pick those things since, as you know, I I used many built-in functions. I came to know and research about those built-in functions and study those built-in functions by many platforms. So I couldn't. I I would say that go with your idea go with your mind go with your interest so that you can just type these topics like tensorflow for example tensorflow there are many uh, data camps uh, many platforms are there you can find if you want to study as a course there are many boot camps data camps all those platforms are not guys i don't just follow data camps uh, since because i'm saying 
just go with the flow type in google what there are many flows will be many platforms will shoot around onto you spend time spend some time on each platform something will be interesting to you compare it you compare it whether it is authenticated or not and just go on to build the project just build up on the project guys you can do these things in your packet money just build up on the projects yes sir uh, the, the other question uh, yeah. from bubesh uh, paul from tripoli uh, is how the robot picks the fruit is it uh, it is identified only using color uh, i think ah, he wants no. to know what are the criteria yeah i think uh, maybe you didn't uh, listen to the lecture properly that's not basically uh, classified according to color if it is basically we trained i trained the model according to the color in real time scenario that will be fail eventually that is not basically just because of the color we we i deployed many factors into it that i couldn't reveal actually maybe for example the texture of the image uh, i couldn't share the most, most of it because that's there lies the secret and there lies the thing it's not a big secret guys you can just think about how we just th- just think about uh, like uh, a small baby how we can how, uh, how it can uh, sense like whether it is like ripe fruit or unripe fruit what you can tell the baby to don't pick this baby and just you need to pick the like this just think about those thing within one or two days you will come to know a lot of factors and just add those uh, a lot of factors into that uh, ai model then the model will tr- do the trick it's not basically the answer is it's not basically just by the color it's about yes. multiple factors yes thank you uh, uh, i think there are a couple of questions regarding the cart uh, mm-hmm. one by mr sanjeevi and another by ramya sanjeevi question was whether ros operating system is used to rover the robot and uh, by ramya it is uh, how the cart moves through a narrow path without affecting the crop uh, while mm. pl- picking the fruits using la- laser ah uh, yeah actually the, it's not ros it's just c++ because i used uh, uh, the laser emission was uh, uh, controlled by arduino which is again a very minor very basic microcomputer as you know in arduino we used to deploy c++ again guys when i use c++ for my guys aeronautical guys i didn't know c++ i just learned some here and there and just pick and scratch those codes so please bear with these things and you can do more than me in these things okay c++ guys uh, it's not ros ma'am and the next thing is uh, what do you say uh, it won't it won't actually we calculated the distance between the crop ma'am uh, what what we did is before the i, I told you the path right we measure the path we built the cart according to that so that it won't affect the uh, affect or not even distance the crops okay i think the last question from this topic will be by mohan is it cost effective to use this machine to pluck the fruits when compared to humans much effective much effective because uh, <laughs> this machine seems uh, i couldn't recall the price of the machine as it is not commercially uh, affected internationally but in korea they are deploying it uh, this is very very simple sir as you saw as you as you see uh, we we just is deployed to make the machine to look at it in a fancy way this is the only thing maybe the audio uh, ai model is very simple maybe they are showing uh, like deceiving the market by showing the ai model ai model is they are showing is very very difficult very very difficult that's not difficult actually i know as because i am i built this project but they can de- deploy it i mean uh, negotiating with the market is a bigger way but to be honest the practical thing is uh, practically this is very 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 cost effective even a small uh, uh farmer can buy it i mean the indian farmer also i think uh, he is confusing with the labor cost in india i think it is not common in throughout the world <laughs> okay labor cost also sir what i'm telling is okay even you are confusing with the labor cost in india this is much effective what i meant is just try to deploy some two or three labors per day okay if you even for 5 500 rupees maybe 1500 rupees right per day you want to deploy them for at most two months to for harvesting season per year because strawberry season has uh, strawberry farm as i think maybe 3 or 4 months of harvesting season if you can uh, have as uh, like uh, 10 or 15 green houses okay if you can uh, they regularly they come on coming means you need to give them 500 you know guys this is much more effective much more cost effective than the rail even you consider uh, african countries also <laughs> african labor also okay th- I, I think we can move on to the next topic. Uh, okay, okay. Already we are running out of time. Uh, 
okay 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 then as we running out of time let me go very fast to that anjan guys this is anjan project uh, the basically the objective of this project is the primitive uh, is, as you can see building a fully autonomous security system using robots the robots here is drones Uh, and we are using it for industries, companies, shops, name, etc. Okay, the step, the all the all the steps that you are seeing is to sense the intruder and trigger the system. Okay, first we need to sense the intruder. Intruder means thief. Uh, because uh, I am in Korea, I am being told by many American English words, but we are uh, what should I say? We have learned uh, British English, right? So I am just telling intruder is kind of like someone who is. uh maybe think about thief okay step 2 is autonomous after into uh, sensing the intruder it the step two is the, uh, the machine needs to i mean the robot here is needs to take off autonomously not into the place where it gets triggered then the step 3 is go on to the intruder and feed the live relay to the owner okay go on to the intruder and feed the live relay to the owner where you have uh, app where your owner has app in it okay this is the three steps we need to do and uh, to achieve the project the execution execution flow chart you can see mission is basically divided into software and hardware trigger system software in software part there is some trigger system autonomous take off path planning live feed and the path planning you, you are using computer vision slam simultaneous slam means simultaneous localization and mapping and the real time sense then from the hardware part copter specification like our part copter specification cop uh, calibration of components flight characteristics characteristics and interfacing those things interfacing is a challenging thing as you know in every project when you are interfacing the software with the hardware there comes your engineering talents there comes your patience test you need to patience patiently wait for and wait for it to make the project make the uh, product to come into success okay this is the basically the execution flow chart this is the logical thing and this is the basic thing we are going to deploy in this project okay uh, uh, like let me tell the idea of the project think about a uh, uh, some specific boundary maybe in your home you have a compound all right if you want to uh, if someone who is far into your house if someone is intruding night day or any time the cctv cctvs will ca regularly capture capturing the images okay uh, you can the, we can be trained uh, the cctv i mean not trained you can have the ids of your uh, images also if so for example if you have a uh, views of ids of uh, your family members you can feed the those ids which is very again very easy into the camera so that it won't trigger if that system if you if one of you are guys visiting your home okay if some of other guys like far into your guys maybe are doing that time right time anything is coming the difference in sequential images the computer science guys maybe know about these terms the difference in sequential images cctv is nothing like just is just grasping the sequence i mean continuous images all through it okay then if there is any difference in sequential images like for for example cctv holds if there is no one it will simply uh, nobody in this uh, in the screen right is there someone who is not known to you guys then the, the then that is called difference in images because the cctv will capture those things if there is any difference in sequential images that images will pass trigger the system of drone which is uh, located in your home or any maybe in the house terrace for a, for a company they maybe have separate uh, location for to store up the drones or maybe any other thing for if or if it is for kcg what you where you can locate maybe on the time time clock that could be fine like many drones you can deploy those things um uh that difference in sequential images trigger the drone system then the drone system will particularly find the shortest path to find where it was triggered and getting to the nearby those uh, to the uh, uh, intruder live feed, getting the live feed and getting informative getting passing the information to the security system passing information to the uh, calling the police system or yeah, maybe 911 here uh, maybe in, in india it's 100 right calling an audio recording and every maybe audio recording of the intruder everything you can do with the system so this is what basically idea okay 
the ai tools and development environment again in this is open cv mission panel is just in the in the in the in the beginning of the project uh, bx also autopilot this is a these are basic uh, hardware that we used uh, and software the mission panel and uh, those are ground stations right you may know that analytical guys python mission i mean programming language again python programming language it's drone raspbian and um, drone kit is again a open source uh, open source platform you can just search for it this i am development environments in the beginning of the project okay once we make it to commercial we just uh, like segregated it after classifying the business team after classifying the programmers we, we just deployed about uh, like high class end of the project but you can do this project with this development environmental for sure in a best way the challenges real time environment as you know and there are many challenges in real time environment especially with the drones because you know you never know what is happening on the atmosphere you never know what is going what is happening so it's like whatever you need to do in real time you will tend to see the difference a lot of difference so you need to be very aware of uh, uh, need to be very patient in facing and uh, overcoming these challenges the compatibility issues between the hardware and software again as you know when you go, when you did something in software that is not 100% sure that they, uh, it could be compatible enough to hardware so when you interfacing it there comes you are facing i mean interfacing challenges you need to overcome those two and the false threats false threat means what if someone is like maybe not about uh, differential images dogs or cats or something came in and maybe the blowing of leaves uh, out of wind uh, some leaves are falls in the cctv images then the system will trigger enough uh, still trigger enough so what we need to do is to, that is a real case challenges we had faced i mean we have overcome it okay this these are the basic optical specification guys like motor product name uh, that we did in the first prototype model with a small basic specification copter specification that i used you can see all these uh, parameters all the specifications are very very basic then we can move to the next the test data what i did in, in yeah, this was okay the basic thing just it will uh, show you like how you can when you someone is evolved in the boundary you can just uh, the the data will trigger the data will trigger the drone system the drone will take off immediately capture the system and uh, that will deploy into uh, the app that we built for our work the the, app, the customer needs to uh, install the built in app that we built for us then the images of live stream will be they live, directly live feed into it okay these are the thing once it is like live feed into it then he needs to call we can call the police also we can parallelly deploy the call of a uh, call of 911 the number 911 maybe 100 through the drone also the machine which are uh, deploying the computer all these thing is do is again raspberry pi arduino uh, how how many of you guys are word right there is a word right which is slightly higher processing power than raspberry pi you can use word right also what this project actually is guys this concept were expanded to the provide the security system of jalanamdo province jalanamdo province means state here jalanamdo is a state where my company is located the postco as i told you that is located thus government actually adopted this concept to establish to the whole uh, pro whole state actually because as you say as i said before koreans are very much uh, uh, involvement in providing the security system to the whole citizens so it's like there are this concept are different uh, many startup companies are already on the swing to build up this concept in a international market way so this is the guys so that's all i want to say if you have any shooting i, I uh, unfortunately the testing video of these drones i couldn't uh, maybe i can show you after some time uh, because it is not uh, what should i say uh, loyal to my company since though i left the company i couldn't say but this is possibly uh, after some time i will show there is some time uh, i can show you after maybe after some days i can show you guys maybe some months so this is the project sir and uh, okay. you can see ml for uav based communication the ml technique can uh, make you the automate autonomous path planning you can make the path by the by your computer by your own you can when you adapt these machine learning techniques when you adapt these artificial intelligence techniques into you 
you can into your uh, drone model your drone model will be like uh, literally a human which can flying which are flying in on the atmosphere okay you can see these uh, pictures which can make you a glimpse, uh, glimpse inside of how this ml technology can contribute your drone technology to make it your scale in a higher manner you can see uav swarm intercommunication you know the swarm of drones is the next uh, uh hot topic in the field in the industry guys swarming swarming of drones you know swarm means like uh, birds are flying like swarm right those birds i mean those drones as we know drones are also birds so what this swarming means is they are intercommunicating to do something as you know the, in the previous year last year the winter uh, olympics in korea they deployed thousands of drones which are communicating intercommunication like and this, uh, like uh, doing like swarm communication you know in china they are doing light festival using drones they are communicating within themselves like hundreds of drones are flying thousands of drones are flying communicating intercommunicating within themselves and framing like boat like structure like uh, airplane like structure like if it is a new year those uh, drones are communicating with themselves to frame a pattern on the atmosphere and with the lights like uh wishing you a happy new year this seems to be fancy by the people and they are they are but they are uh, ready to put a lot of revenue into these things so if you are interested in swarming of drones it's high time you need to do adapting this ml technique for sure okay so with that note about the drones uh, and anjan uh, okay i think oh, yes, i share development environmentals also uh, okay this is special landmarks i want to say again okay this is uh, as you see guys the landmark coordinates again this coordinates are de developed by the core alone you don't need to worry about those thing indexing and all these this can be done you can see the closing of eyes can be measured this technique you can see the cursor here closing of the eyes if it is 42 to 46 is zero then the alarm will ring okay okay with that note think about the w factor of ai against corona think about you need to guys if you within a next one two minutes i'm going to end you need to think about the current factors current uh, uh, problems uh, that the real world is facing right now it is corona right so you need to think about what this ai can do with corona as you know uh, the ai start up in in canada as they are uh, always always like uh researching on uh, pandemic diseases you know in wuhan after the uh, corona was erupted in wuhan what they did is uh, they they deployed and predicted the airline ticket of wuhan airport for example they get the database of wuhan airports air ticketing collection and they get after getting their database collection of air ticketing they predicted right they predicted like oh uh, the people from south korea thailand and uh, vietnam and uh, sorry south korea and uh, thai uh, south korea thailand and some other countries they predicted like that startup company from canada predicted like this corona will next impacted south korea in a much higher way how they did this they just calculating and predicted the airline ticket because uh, they found in the previous two or three years they found there are many people from korea coming and going to the wuhan airport through that wuhan airport okay and based on those situations and after training the ai model they predicted like this corona may eventually next impact in corona in south korea eventually eventually that has happened within next one month as you may know after china korea ranks next uh, some two months uh, sorry one month before in corona so like this small kind of thinking what you can do you need to face some real uh, real questions if there is real world you can find solution through is ai okay job opportunities as i saw don't search for jobs but find the right fit instead if you are a computer science engineer it's you, you need to have this thing if you are an aeronautical engineer try to fit the right fit right fit a machine learning technique or ai technique or maybe any other technique that you are interested to uh, to to be fit into a drone industry you, you shouldn't rely only on aerospace if you as i said before if you can fit with some other thing also you can easily uh bring up your scale in a higher manner these are the data as you can see um, there are many jobs are available in drone industry and as well as in other jobs also other industries also impact of drones in various industries these are the graphs just you can see in research industry it is even higher more scientific conservation government all these are higher contributions in the upcoming years so don't worry about uh, your future 
try to find a right fit into your solution into your interesting into into, into interesting sector so that you can easily grasp through and uh, uh, can easily not only uh, can get a job don't even try to get a job but try to be an entrepreneur try to ha have a startup so that you can you can save many lives you can contribute to many lives the conclusion thing is guys the secret of getting ahead is getting started get get start first actually as a student i i never i know the pain of getting started so it's it's our time to get started okay some guy from korea did something for one year one hour was quarreling yelling at us for one hour or two hours so let's start let's see what is that just go in that mindset okay let's see what are the terms i heard let's research about the thing you will you will you, you will if you may interested in some of the terms of that you can just try to start with that just don't think then don't stop with your mindset but just, just try to implement to start again then you will n number of opportunities n number of ideas will may come into you even the small thing i said shared you like the richard story in the beginning he has been uh, what should, what should i say the small thing but he has been recognized worldwide now you may never know what you can do with this thing i am not sure that you need, you need to be known by world but you need to you need to uh, you need to like feed yourself and your family right just start with these things the first, the final thing is just getting started is the best thing and the most important thing and the immediate thing that you need to do thank you guys thank you for your time and you can you can ask your questions right now thank you adam i think there we have a couple of questions one by sanjeevi is uh, regarding the drone is that you get the drone product and build the sdk tool kit no sdk sd as i told you in commer when we make into commercial we build the sdk kit but what i'm telling is you guys have gone a testing right when you going to testing don't spend time in building the sdk kit because it will take a lot of time what i'm telling is just interact some open source platform to get the sdk kit which are open source openly available just try to build these things then get some fund from some other companies or some other colleges some other government then you can build by then you can uh, hiring some uh, professional uh, programmers uh, especially for these things they can take some time to build a specific sdk for them what i'm telling is to initiate or basically maybe for research of three or four months maybe a one year right now or maybe for your project don't spend time to build your sdk just have the open source sdk available many are available pick any one of it deploying it make the project to see something like yes i did like this then the there are a lot of revenues and a lot of uh, big big high five companies are ready to even the governments are ready to uh, accept your concept actually thank you adam that was sanjeevi i am pleased to inform you that the sanjeevi was part of a team who has traveled to china and they won uh, the man machine uh, interference award uh, using oh, drone technology congrats congrats guy okay the, the other question by, was by mr mohan kumar regarding the maintenance of the uh, fruit picking robot and mm -hmm. the periodicity of uh, maintenance Mm, that is the key thing we need to have I mean keep in mind that the, i could say that you need to maintain it like uh, maybe uh, one month per day but what i think is it's not cost uh, it's very much cost actually what do you need to maybe the cameras also we need to is very much very much uh, very less cost so what do you need to do is what i'm telling what i'm can, i can say is the maintenance cost is very less is better you can maintain maybe one month or maybe two weeks once you can maintain it's better to maintain what the challenges i am not facing in here in korea is they are very good in maintaining anything actually so it won't be a big trouble in here in korea they are even very very good in handling the small stuff actually so maintenance maintenance is not a big challenge in korea but in many in india as you say uh, it's not a difficult thing for farmers also to maintain i hope that farmers are good in handling maybe farmers are very loyal in their weapons right in uh, even the cut, uh, the knives and uh, many things when they are using they are very loyal and very obedient in serving safeguarding those things i think for indian farmers also maintaining these things will be very easy and they will be very good and loyal enough to save these thing i mean bar enough sir. so also because the kind maintenance cost is very very less in this thing yes thank you uh, the other question was uh, regarding the anjan drone Uh, yes. Is it is it developed by SDK Toolkit? What processor being used for obstacle avoidance? What kind of sensor is being used? 
obstacle avoidance uh, for obstacle avoidance we used uh, module uh, 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 guys please i mean exclusively for enjan maybe i can uh, spend uh, i can tell you all the information maybe after some 2 or 3 months okay okay, okay. Yeah. please don't take me wrong because it would be it won't be loyal enough for my company actually okay adam thank you very much uh, again uh, if, uh, okay okay sir tell me sir yes yes uh, is there any other questions attendees or uh, panelist okay i th i think we can take the questions offline also you can say one Panel one thing sir the guy who, because i don't want to uh, fed him up obstacle avoidance as you know guys is a openly available but the thing is you need to choose the best one right uh, if i yes there are many module functions which can provide obstacle avoidance you need to get one of fit which can best fit to you just, just bear with me for some or uh, two or three months i can tell you the whole detail of it but just go on to search for many obstacle functions which are available through many frameworks many uh, module building functions many programming languages many organizations just pick one of it and just try to deploy it okay the other uh, post was by mr mohan regarding your uh, mail id and uh, contact details i'll i'll share with them uh, okay uh so what mail uh, you mean just uh, share with uh, the personal id sir a d a m sure. 90 a d a m g i l l y 90 a d a m g i l l y 90 at gmail dot 90 at the rate of gmail a d a m g i l l y 90 at the rate of gmail yes done uh, adam i, I think uh, the panelist if you have something to add uh, they can i yeah. have a formal vote of thanks yeah so, i just, sir, just yes, want sir. to add uh, not a question just a, a comment like uh, it is good to see that an aeronautical engineer is working in data scientist so i know many are doing it but mm -hmm. for the students they may not be aware please be open and uh, just like how the speaker has told always be looking for things don't uh, have a, like Uh, like a zone and don't go outside it be open because uh, there are a lot of opportunities so just like speaker said you also like you can learn coding because the moment we say coding especially to aeronautical they think it they something uh, uh, untouchable so please be open like he said so it's good to see him shining and there's it's nothing it's only logic so anybody can learn it so even i was not known to the, like coding when during my bachelor's days but when i went for masters i was writing like at least 300 400 lines of code and that was for our subjects not for uh, data scientists or anything for cfd and fpm writing code is something integral part of it so it's not alien to aeronautical engineering also okay so that's something i wanted to add thank you mm. so as actually if i can share what the what the sir is telling like don't uh, the let me say you say in a famous vikram vedha dialogue from vijay sethupathi when he says in the at the climax to madhavan sir gudra gudra kadivala potta maru ore thala paakadhi sir konja thala kanna thandu paaru nu solvaanga la adha dhaan solraar sir actually try to get that guys don't don't be like a horse <laughs> thank you thank you adam uh, other, any other uh, questions by panelist or comments okay there is other question by sanjeevi again uh, what is the basic step to learn algorithms using drones for which which website can be referred for uh, the beginners uh, for the beginners actually i did some 3 years before i didn't know where i started actually uh, guys try to um, uh, what should i say search for the open source platforms there are many are available right drone kit are available you can you can just dig into the drone kit platform of open source uh, platform just uh, there are many functions and many programs and algorithms which are built on the drone kit i mean d r o n e k i t drone kit platform just try to deploy as a beginner then you will came to know as time progress and build some basic projects you will came to know many platforms many websites that you can it can be handy it can be accessible to and build up handy algorithms but just start with drone kit open source platform okay thank you adam 